He broke hearts on The Bachelor before finding all kinds of ways to explore himself and the world. Since his first stint as a reality star came to a close, Peter Weber has been living the dream. Peter Weber didn't earn the nickname Pilot Pete for nothing. According to his father, Weber has always been drawn to the world of aviation. He was exactly like I was growing up. He was always interested in airplanes right from the start, and he just pursued it just like I did. Now, in his post-Bachelor era, Weber has returned to the career he had prior to joining the hit reality franchise. He once again flies planes for United Airlines in a career that has taken him across the world. In 2022, Weber flew with his father for the latter's retirement flight as a fellow United pilot. United Airlines documented the emotional occasion in a video on their Instagram account. In a heartfelt announcement to his passengers, Weber shared that he would be first officer to his father on his commercial flight for the airline and described the excursion as the most special flight of his piloting career. Later that year, United Airlines became a family business for the former bachelor once again as his brother was hired as a pilot for the company as well. While it seems like every season of The Bachelor promises to be more dramatic than the last, Weber's season really did live up to the hype. The lead broke up with contestant Madison Pruitt over differences in values surrounding premarital sex and instead proposed to contestant Hannah Ann Sluss. Weber then broke off his engagement with Sluss to pursue Pruitt, only to break up with Pruitt as well. After his season aired, he went on to date another contestant from his season, Kelly Flanagan. Weber and Flanagan went on to have an on-again, off-again relationship, breaking up seemingly for good in 2023. When Weber and Flanagan split, the former couple didn't make a formal announcement. Instead, the news broke when Weber alluded to the fact he was still single while chatting with an esthetician for an Instagram video at a convention in Calgary in April 2023. For her part, Flanagan has moved on from the former Bachelor. Just over a month after Weber acknowledged their breakup, Flanagan posted a photo of herself with her new boyfriend on social media. The pair were still together as of early 2024. It's one thing to get a foot in the door of Bachelor Nation, but taking on a totally different reality TV franchise is another ballgame. In 2023, Peter Weber joined the cast of Peacock's reality competition series, The Traders, at the last minute. While he hadn't watched the series before accepting the offer to join the cast, he got excited to participate once he watched the first season. Discussing his involvement in the series with Parade, he explained, For me, honestly, it's just short and simple. I feel this game looked fun as hell. It's obviously like a real-life game of Clue. I'd always wanted to do a cool, fun competition show, and being very competitive, this was right up my alley. By joining up with the Traders, Weber followed in the footsteps of another former Bachelor, Ari Leyendijk Jr., who was the lead in season 22 of The Bachelor and a contestant on the Traders' first season. The experience must have been positive for Weber, because he's open to the idea of being on another reality TV show in the future. He explained, Honestly, the scarier, the crazier, the better for me. I love being uncomfortable. I love pushing myself, especially with this kind of show. I always want to do something like Fear Factor or Amazing Race. Naturally, Weber travels often for work, but he's also been able to travel quite a bit in his free time. He was flown to multiple exotic locations with The Bachelor, with his season taking place in places like Chile, Peru, Costa Rica, and Australia. Additionally, he's visited plenty of cool places since. Weber ended 2023 with a trip to the Bahamas, and he visited the Adirondacks with his family earlier that same year. The year prior, he also made his way to Germany, where he posted a rooftop selfie on Instagram. Weber has also gotten the opportunity to travel as an influencer. Sporting brand partnerships with major companies like Grubhub and Nordic Track, the reality star is earning plenty of side income through his social media work, and he's turned his love of exploring other cities into a side hustle by working with different travel brands. In 2022, Weber served as an ambassador of Intrepid Travel, with whom he was able to take a summer trip to the Black Hills of South Dakota. Then, in 2023, Weber announced on Instagram that he'd be hosting a group trip to Thailand in 2024 through Trova Trip. We have nine days of insane adventure plan. We have a ton of snorkeling, boat trips out to remote islands, uh, jungle hikes. Another one of Weber's many passions seems to be working out. Since his turn on The Bachelor, the reality star has remained committed to his exercise regimen, and running in particular. In 2021, Weber became one of the 1.2 million people in history who have completed the New York City Marathon. Discussing the experience on Instagram, he wrote, Running the NYC Marathon was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. I had no idea what to expect, but I am so damn happy I did it. There is literally nothing you can't accomplish in this life if you put your mind to it. And decide 
decide to never give up. Impressively, in 2023, Weber put his paws to the pavement again for the United Airlines-sponsored New York City Half Marathon. Because health and fitness are important matters to Weber, the reality star has worked with wellness brands. In addition to Nordic Track, he's also posted advertisements for the health and weight loss app Cygnos Health to his social media as well. Thanks to his notoriety, Weber has racked up a number of unique opportunities over the years, especially in the movie world. For example, in early 2023, Weber got to meet and interview actors Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter, the stars of the movie Plane. Later that year, Weber attended the New York City premiere of the Jennifer Lawrence film No Hard Feelings. The year prior, Weber and his father attended the premiere of Top Gun Maverick, where the two pilots even snapped a picture with Tom Cruise. Reflecting on that night, Weber posted to Instagram, "...my thoughts on Top Gun Maverick. Epic, nostalgic, romantic, epic." Not all of Weber's cool opportunities have been film-related, though. In 2023, the reality star was not only invited to the Super Bowl, but thanks to his collaboration with Visa's NFL Extra Points, he got to meet players and attend immersive events before the game. Weber's evidently a big football fan, as he's also an ambassador for the Seattle Seahawks. Thanks to this role, he's gotten to attend games, watch from the sidelines, hang out with the Seahawks mascot, and watch the players prepare during preseason. In early 2021, Peter Weber became a New York City resident. And if his Instagram is anything to go by, he's taken to the city like a duck to water. Living in New York allowed Weber to make Newark Airport his home base as a pilot. And much to the pleasure of Bachelor Nation members, he moved in with Dustin Kendrick, whom he met on Hannah Brown's season of The Bachelorette. He's a great support <laughs> system, though, man. It is so good to have like a roommate you can like count on and rely on, like, and you're going through like some, some sad times. But hanging out with his new roommate and flying planes isn't all Weber has been doing in New York City. In 2023, the reality star tried his hand at another form of entertainment, stand-up comedy. According to Bachelor Rush Hour with David Neal, he posted to his social media before his performance, writing, First comedy show tonight. Do I have any idea what I'm doing? Absolutely not. But that's okay, because we're gonna have some fun. Weber didn't post any clips from his set to his permanent feed on social media, but he received lots of support for his performance via Instagram, particularly from his parents. Jet-setting all over the globe and attending A-list events sure keeps a guy busy. But evidently, Peter Weber still has some time on his hands for new pursuits. We know this because he is now the published author of a children's book. The Adventures of Pilot Pete was released in November 2021, and it depicts Weber's own story of how he managed to achieve his lifelong dream of flying planes. The Adventures of Pilot Pete tells the story of my first love, aviation. I wrote this book to inspire children to chase their dreams, no matter how big, and never stop till they achieve them. Weber didn't let his accomplishment go without celebration. Upon its publication, he partied with his family and friends. Alongside an Instagram carousel of photos from the evening, he wrote a heartfelt caption thanking everyone who was with him to commemorate the occasion. Although it expands every year, Bachelor Nation is an exclusive club, and most of its members remain actively involved, whether through the show or by associating with other members. In addition to launching the now-defunct Bachelors in the City podcast with Dustin Kendrick in 2021, Weber has served as a guest on some other Bachelor Nation podcasts hosted by his peers. In 2022, he chatted with Jason Tartik on an episode of Trading Secrets about how his time on The Bachelor almost didn't come to be. He's also been on Nick Vile's show, The Vile Files, and he stopped by the Ben and Ashley I Almost Famous podcast for an appearance as well. In addition to keeping in touch with other Bachelor Nation members, Weber is also still fond of former host Chris Harrison. When Harrison left the show, Weber took to Instagram to pay tribute to the TV personality's contributions to the franchise. In the post's caption, he wrote, "'Thank you, Chris, for your mentorship and for having an impact on so many. The show will never be the same, but that's only a testament to you. Can't wait to see what you do next, my friend.'" 